In this video, we're going to be using the Shaving Chop Club, Poison Hemlock, and the Wilkinson Sword Classic Safety Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your OCDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back and we have a good one for you today. We're gonna to be using the Shaving Shop Club, which is also Ariane and Evans. This is Poison Hemlock. And if you're expecting a dark scent, this is not that. I'll put the notes for you on the screen right there. We have blood orange, bergamot, black currant, fig, rose, and plenty of other things which you see there in the ingredients. This is a nice, fresh, bright sort of scent to my nose, and I like it a lot. Scent strength is right at about that medium level. It comes to you if you're a member of the club for under $5 an ounce, and on our cost chart there, that is a fair price. And I enjoy the soap companies who are committed to giving you a, a, a decent value. In other words, you, you get a lot for your money. And I think with Ariane and Evans, this is generally the case, especially if you're in the shaving shop uh, club. This is in the K2E base. I'll put the ingredients for you right there on the screen. Very easy to work with. I do like that Pete has firmed up the base in K2E, so it's, it's not quite as soft. I think you get better value generally out of soaps that are a little bit more firm, or at least I don't have to use as much soaps to get the same volume of lather. And we look forward to using this one today. By the way, I'll show you a lather shot right there. Really nice and easy to lather. That's one of the things about A&E soaps. They're always easy to work with, and uh, to get a great creamy lather, it's quite easy, or at least it is for me. Today, we're gonna be using the Classic Wilkinson Sword uh, Safety Razor. And this is plastic, and then there's like a metal insert here in the handle, I'll go ahead and unscrew it for you so you can see it is a two-piece razor. And we have our Gillette Nasset blade loaded in the top here. Again, this is plastic. It's fairly lightweight, even with the metal handle here. And all you do is just put it back together, screw it down, and you are ready to go. It's a pretty mild shaver. It's a pretty safe choice for new people or really anyone. Um, you don't get a lot of blade feel, but I've used it a few times and I like it. You'll see people like Paul H. Use this from time to time. Shout out to you, Paul, if you happen to be watching. All right, let's get into the shave today. We'll start by misting the face, and this is just plain water, no special elixirs. And I remind you, I will link everything below. I'll also link our uh, Shave Talk Facebook group. If you haven't joined us, I'll put a link to that below for you. And it's just a group for talking shaving, period. Nothing but shaving and uh, being uplifting and sort of just having a great time with the hobby that we love so much, or lifestyles, Jason from The Razor Company likes to put it. All right, we have a nice creamy lather, which is customary from Ariane and Evans, and of course we're using our Ariane and Evans brush, and look at that creamy goodness right there. That's that's what you expect from A&E. If you're not getting a good creamy lather, continue to work at it, because it is definitely all of his bases, basically everything he's ever made, is capable of being lathered very creamy. And that's what most people look for today. You don't necessarily want a bubbly, fluffy lather, although you can shave perfectly fine with a bubbly, fluffy lather. Um, you know, really, shaving is more about you as the wielder of, of the equipment it, as it is the equipment, to be honest. As long as you have a sharp blade, you are the biggest factor in every single shave. So if your lather isn't super creamy and dense and it doesn't look, you know, like maybe the photo I just showed a minute ago, that's okay. If you're getting great results, you're doing it right. Don't worry about it. Don't beat yourself up about it. Because keep in mind, I've got lights in here and everything else. And, you know, when I'm taking a picture of that lather, it's it's under direct light. And so you can see the, the sheen in it. You know, that's sort of the point. It's just to show, yes, there's good hydration in it. If yours doesn't look exactly that way and you're getting excellent results, don't worry about it. Don't beat yourself up about it. You're getting a great lather if your shaves are going well and you're enjoying yourself. That's how you should measure, in my opinion, the way you should measure the effectiveness of a lather or whether you're getting a good or bad lather is how did the shave go and how did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy the shave? If you did, great. Um, if you had a great shave, then your lather is fine. That's, that's, <laughs> that's the way to, to look at it. All right, let's get going with our Wilkinson Sword Classic. 
You do get a little blade feel here, but I think overall the razor is mild. Um, I do enjoy using it. This is an excellent razor to travel with because it's very inexpensive. Um, on Amazon, it's about $10.99, but you can find it a lot cheaper than that. I am told like over in the UK and, uh, you know, drugstores and so on, or chemists, I think they might call it. Um, so I've heard of people getting it for just a few dollars. So it's very inexpensive, easy to come by. On Amazon, again, I'll link it below, $10.99. It's one of those razors, if you lost it, it wouldn't be a big deal or if something happened to it. I've taken this one camping and so on before. In fact, I've done a shave you know, along the river while I've been fishing with this razor. I, I shot one on video a couple years ago, I think. And it's one you don't really have to worry about if something should happen to it because you don't have a lot invested. But it's a good shaver. But again, as I, you know, harken back to what I was saying just a moment ago, the biggest thing is, are you a good shaver? It's not so much the razor. Although the razor does matter. And, and especially, I think, when it comes to preference, like... I prefer a little more blade feel and you know it helps me shave the feedback that the of that cutting action when you get more blade feel is something that i appreciate but that's user preference i can still use a very mild razor and get an excellent shave every single time so that's something to think about if you're struggling and it's early on just know it's normal it's normal so don't beat yourself up over it just continue to plug away let your face rest one of the more, most important things uh, to learn it's just learning what your face will tolerate and how it responds to certain things and what products work work best And that's always an, a, an experiment like no one can tell you What soaps are going to work best for you? I can only tell you what I like and what my preferences are um, So you really have to experiment. I can't tell you which razor is going to work Best for you the most important thing is you for you to spend time with your equipment whether it be your soap your razors your blades and just get to know them and as you're doing that, you'll begin to learn what feels right. Like things will begin to click. And then you'll develop some preferences for, for equipment. And of course, I'm speaking to new people now. All you veterans out here, you already know this. But over time, you'll sort of figure it out. But it is trial and error. There is no one in the world who can tell you what works best for you. So keep in mind when you're asking me a question, and I'm happy to answer. I'm only giving you information that is relevant based on what I know and what I think, think, and I'm guessing what works best for you. And I'm happy to help, but just know that, you know, everything I recommend might not be the best fit for you. That's really part of the joy of the hobby is sort of trying to crack that code and figure out what does work best for you. So that part of the exploration is a great deal of fun. And when things start to click, that's when it really starts to get fun. And when you start to understand and you're str you're developing strong preferences and you're like okay this is what i like now keep in mind there's something else to consider here just because you're loving a super mild razor today and let's say you've been shaving a year or under uh two years from now or a year from now you might be at the opposite end of the spectrum you might want any, you might be wanting as much blade feel as you could possibly get that is entirely normal to change your thoughts and feelings and opinions over time, as you use more things, as you learn, you know, we, we don't go to, we don't go into anything and retain the same opinions and knowledge on everything. Like day one of school is not the same as your last day in school. And so try to keep an open mind, try to continually try things and figure out, you know, what is in your wheelhouse, understanding that things will change over time. A lot of my opinions on things have changed over the years and, uh, that's something to be aware of. When I first started out, like most people, I started out liking mild razors and then I sort of moved to medium. And now I like a little more efficient razors. That's, that's sort of a natural progression for some people, not everybody. Some people will stick with mild razors throughout and that is entirely okay. Don't make it a thing about being macho. Just get the best possible products that work best for you. And if it's super mild, A-okay, no problem. All right, I'm gonna re-lather here for a quick, quick cross pass. I gotta say the Wilkinson Sword Razor here, it's feeling pretty good. It has just a little bit more blade feel than I recall. I was expecting super mild, and while it is mild, it's not extreme mild. Like I would consider the Feather ASD2 to be in the extreme mild spectrum, 
although it's been years since I've used one, so, you know, <laughs> um, I'm just going off memory. But this one is feeling pretty good today. And I have a brand new Gillette Nasset blade in it, which is um, my favorite blade of the moment. I think it has the best, um, for me, and again, keep in mind, blade preference is very subjective, very, just like scent preference. I think the Nasset has the best combination of cost and sharpness and smoothness. Overall, it's, it's like my overall champion of blades. I do favor sharp blades, and I think the Nasset brings enough to the table while being affordable. It, it brings good sharpness and is still affordable. Now, I haven't spoken much about the soap today, and part of the reason is what, what is left to say about A&E products or the Shaving Shop Club. Keep in mind the Shaving Shop Club is, is a portion of the Ariane and Evan sort of portfolios, lack of a better way of explaining it. And if you're a member of that club, and it's something like $12.99 a year, you get 20% off on everything, some exclusives, and so on and so forth. So if you're going to buy several A&E things within a year, or sets in particular, you'll get your money back, no question. And you do have access to exclusives and so on. So this one is a club offering. So this one would not be available outside the club right now, I think. Or maybe it is. I don't know. But... There are some things that are exclusives, and then later, sometimes he'll move it to the mainstream and pe other people can get them too. And so I get, I get good value out of the club because I'm going to buy a number of things every single year from the club. So for me, it's a good value. So you have to consider whether it's a good value for you, but the products are stellar. Um, pretty much everything he makes is quite good. I don't always love the scents necessarily. But the quality of the products are first rate, and his latest uh, vegan-based VR1 is just fantastic. Although, honestly, I thought the shaving butter was phenomenal as well. So, you know, he, Pete sort of has a knack for making really high-quality soaps and selling them at a decent price, at least if you're in the club. I don't know what they sell for outside of the club because I don't buy them outside of the club um, because it would be foolish to not take advantage of the discount from within the club. So... I'm not sure what they cost outside of the club, quite quite frankly, but I will link things below. And uh, this is a nice soap. Um, the scent on it's very nice. The quality is top rate. The Kaizen 2E, and the E is to indicate, I think, emu oil. Um, an additional grain in that Pete liked once he, you know, he's always experimenting and do I need all that? Nope, um, honestly, but as long as the costs remain a good value for me, then I'm happy. When the costs begin to skyrocket, then I'm not happy because let's face it, we're all have to we're all having to tighten our belt, and most of us are buying soaps not of not out of utility but out of hobby. So when we have to tighten our belts, what do we do? We start cutting off entertainment and hobby, and so I don't want to really cut too much on my hobby because I enjoy this a whole lot and I enjoy showing you things and bringing you things and talking about shaving and evangelizing and advocating for the hobby. But when things get too costly, you know, I have to make choices just like you do. So I know I've seen a lot of grumbling about price increases in 2022 and I do understand a fair amount of that is going to be necessary probably, but I hope they keep it reasonable. Um, I even saw where sterling's going to have to increase. Um, but sterling normally they increase it only what is required. They don't try to dig into your pockets deeper. They're just literally trying to, you know, achieve. Um, they'll raise it enough just to make ends meet in the way that they were before. They're not trying to put a, a bunch of money in their pocket. But we'll see what those prices are, and then we'll decide, you know, at that time. But I have more of sterling than any other soap, and part of that reason is it is a tremendous value. Now I have a ton. Of A and E too, as you might expect, because this is really good stuff too, and it's still coming at a great price if you're in the uh, club. It's still in the fair range, at least, and I'm comfortable in the fair range. When it gets beyond that, I start to really be a little more selective about what I'm buying. I mean, we all have to do that, don't we? All right, excellent shave. Let me uh, rinse, and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned.
And all right, we are back and off came. We did a warm water rinse, remove the soap, and then we applied our PAA alum and there was no stinging. So that was a super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Really nice shave. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by witches. And this is Thayer's Witch Hazel, a cucumber with aloe, which I really enjoy. I also really enjoyed today the Club Poison Hemlock. If you're in the club, it comes at a very fair price. It is a terrific quality soap. I enjoyed the scent. It was really enjoyable today. Poison Hemlock. Not a dark scent at all, and I really enjoyed that. The razor today, I also enjoyed the Wilkinson Classic um, Safety Razor, which is plastic. It's got a little metal insert there in the handle. Actually, not a bad shaver at all. This will definitely do the job. Pick one up if you please. I'll link it below on Amazon, but if you're over in Europe, you might be able to find this considerably cheaper. $10.99 on Amazon. I enjoy using this from time to time. I had a great shave with it. We used our Ariana and Evans brush, and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. And we're going to finish it off today with uh, Ariana and Evans Asian Pear. And this doesn't smell anything like the Poison Hemlock, but I just wanted to use Asian Pear today because it's been a little while and this is a terrific scent, and man, I'm just going to enjoy it. And I hope wherever you are today, you have a fantastic day, and you enjoy your shaves and enjoy one another. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.